This video is the basic layout and construction of a statement of financial position or also known as a balance sheet. Now, in the previous episode, I explained to you the basic layout of a profit and loss or income statement. Now we're moving on to the next step and we got to do the statement of financial position. Now we got to find the accounts that's part of the accounting equation because the layout of a statement of financial position is based on the accounting equation. Assets are equal to owner's equity plus liabilities. My layout is going to be assets minus liabilities equals owner's equity. So I go through my list of accounts and I find my owner's equity accounts and I see there is capital and I also see drawings. I then go and find my assets and I see land and buildings, vehicles, machinery, bank, and I also have accounts receivable, debtors. I then got to find my liabilities. And there the two are accounts payable, loan Westpac. So I will use these accounts, owner's equity, assets, and liability accounts to construct my balance sheet. So if we move over here, we see here the business name should be on top. Statement of financial position as at the 30th of June, 2020. So this is almost like taking a photo or picture of a business on a specific day. So I start off and I break it up into current assets. Those are assets either in cash form or will be converted into cash within 12 months. And in this exercise, I had accounts receivable and bank. I draw a line and I add up the total and put it in the second column. My non-current assets, in this case, are they are all fixed assets. Um, that's land and buildings, vehicles, machinery. Put it in the first column, draw a line, which means it's a calculation, put it in the second column. I continue with this line because I now will say current assets plus non-current assets give me my total assets. And as I said, my layout will be assets minus liabilities. So I break up my liabilities and current liabilities. Those are liabilities that I will have to pay back within 12 months. And we have our creditors, our accounts receivable, put the amount in the first column, draw a line, put it in the second. I also have non-current liabilities, normally something like a mortgage or loan that will be paid off over a number of years. I put that in the first column, draw a line, keep on going with the line, and I now say 130 thousand plus four hundred thousand gives me total liabilities of five hundred and thirty thousand so to get this amount i go one million seven hundred and eight thousand seven hundred and thirty two minus the five hundred and thirty thousand liabilities gives me my answer then i go owners equity and i start up with capital that was the balance given and if you can see here on the screen this was the net profit coming straight from your statement of profit and loss so you add the profit draw a line put the total in there and the last thing you got to remember is less drawings draw a line and get the total and if you work correctly your totals should be the same